everyone. Welcome into the Flippin' Hippos YouTube channel. I'm Star. If you're new here or you haven't already, please consider subscribing and helping us feed a hungry hippo. And don't forget to hit the thumbs up. Today we're doing my favorite video that I do every month. We take a look back at the month prior at the plush that sold on eBay. So I pulled up every single plush sale from the month of March off of the eBay platform. I do show these in our weekly what sold videos. If you watch those, we kind of talk more about what they sold for and where I got them from. In this video, I'm going to focus on why or why not each of these would be a good idea for you to source and list in your own store if you want to, or you are a plush seller. Build-a-bear clothes are always a good idea. I did get a big wholesale lot of them. A lot of them sold for a lot of money. In fact, like the first three sales sold for the whole lot and everything else is just icing on the cake. As with anything, it depends on what you have on how much it's going to sell for. This is just a cape, so it's not going to sell for as much as like a full outfit or a recognizable Disney character outfit. I also always advise people, if you get Build-A-Bears, whether you source them yourself or they come in a bulk buy, and they have clothes on with the very rare exception that the clothes go with the bear. Like if you have a Doctor Who bear and a Doctor Who outfit, or you have the Disney Princess Belle bear in the Belle iconic yellow dress, you obviously want to leave them clothed. There are Build-A-Bear themed bears out there who come in outfits. But if it's just a run-of-the-mill plain bear in an outfit, you want to strip it. Always strip your Build-A-Bears naked and sell everything separately. You can make more money that way. Your plain Build-A-Bears should never start for less than $18. I understand that people uh, list them for a lot less. I understand that people sell them for a lot less. I don't know if it's just because they're turds and they race to the bottom or if they just don't understand the value of Build-A-Bears. A lot of people think the plain dogs and, and bears are not worth money, the plain bunnies. But they are. Build-A-Bear is a luxury brand of plush. You can also take them in and get them fixed for a lifetime. They're like the craftsman tools of the plush world. So the, even the most plain Build-A-Bears should not, I'm saying start at $18. However you want to break that down. 18 free ship, 12 plus 6 ship, 10 plus 8 ship. But it should be $18. That's not to say you cannot take an offer and sell it for $14 or $16. That's not to say you can't run a 50% sale and sell it for $9 after it's been sitting for a couple of years. But you still want to start it at the price that it should be listed at so it stays at market value. When you strip your bears naked, you're going to make more money because you can sell the bear for $18. And sometimes the outfits can go for $20 and more depending on how many pieces and what the outfit is. You'll see a couple more Build-A-Bear outfits as we go through here. And we'll talk a little bit more about that. Carriers are usually going to be a bolo, but you need to pay attention to the year and the brand. And the bear. It depends on the bear. Some of the characters are very obscure and sell for a lot more money. This one was damaged and missing her nose. We had to take that into account. And this particular one didn't comp that high to begin with. But I've sold other Care Bears baby hogs, both the boy and the girl. There's two. There's the pink one and the blue one. I've sold them for $30 plus. So if you don't, if you're not willing to sell low end bread and butter filler items, always comp before you source. If you're buying wholesale, list everything. Puppets definitely are something you want to look for. Most puppets are going to fall in the bread and butter genre of plushies category, I should say. They're going to be $12 to $20. But some can go for a lot of money. There's folk modest puppets. There's um, some of them that are like the bigger realistic looking puppets by folk modest can go for $100. Most, I, like I said, are going to fall. Even the vintage, there's a lot of Melissa and Doug puppets out there. They're going to fall in the bread and butter. But they do sell very quickly as far as plush go. For plush, they're pretty fast. Boyd's Bears, they're hit or miss. I mean, I personally don't really try to source them anymore. 
but there are some out there that are worth money, just not that many. You can always go on eBay to Terapeak and kind of do your own research and see which build a bears are worth money. Not build a bears, Boyd's bears. And look for those when you're outsourcing. But for the most part, they're kind of really low in bread and butter, bordering onto poop. Here's some more build a bear items for you to look at. You can also build your own outfits, which is what I did when I bought that wholesale lot of build a bear clothes. There was just all kinds of stuff in there, and I just went through it. It was the best time of my life. <laughs> and I created outfits. These look like they match this dress. These look like they match this dress. Here's a uh, build a bear that we started out around $18. We had six shipping on it, and it was going to be $15. So $21 actually, and then it was on sale. And so it went for a little bit less, but you want to start them out between 18 and 20. This is Cartoon Network Adventure Time. I didn't know that he would comp this high. He sold for you know, a pretty good amount. Um, a lot of times the characters from your Disney Junior and your Nick Junior are good plush to pick up, but they almost always fall within the bread and butter unless they're an obscure not saturated character. Apparently these Cartoon Network plushies do really well. I've had a couple in the last couple of years that I found in, in lots that sold fast and for good money. So keep your eyes out for this tag right here. <laughs> you can see in for Cartoon Network. Okay, so Cole's Cares makes a lot of plush based on children's literature and most of them are bread and butter. The Peanuts characters are very oversaturated, and a lot of people have raced to the bottom on these particular characters, even with if it's not Cole's Cares. Just Peanuts in general has kind of been raced to the bottom. If you don't believe me, go comp a Woodstock or a Snoopy plush. They're very disappointing. Cole's Cares does have some characters that are going to sell for more money. You just want to make sure that you do your research and comp. Otherwise, if you're like me and the price is right, or if you buy wholesale lots, they all come home with me and get listed. Here's another Build-A-Bear outfit that I created. So the jersey and the shorts are not both Build-A-Bear branded. And I just disclosed that in the description. So you can build outfits, mix or match with doll clothes and bear clothes that even aren't Build-A-Bear branded. You just want to disclose it to your buyers. The shirt and the shoes were Build-A-Bear. And, of course, this is like a little soccer outfit, so there's cleats. Disney Disney is like something you want to say is always a bolo, but it's not. There are certain Disney characters that are just so oversaturated anymore. They're just not worth picking up. There's Mattel. There's just Play. There's Hasbro that aren't worth as much money as Disney Store or the Disney Parks. This one is definitely worth it. It's a talking Kion from the Disney Junior show, Lion Guard. Disney is, I think you would have to really spend a lot of time researching it or you're selling plush and buying all the things and learning the way we did before you know. And I still don't know because things change. And you want to keep your finger, I always tell people you want to keep your fingers on the pulse of pop culture because if, let's say a new Cars movie came out next week, all of a sudden the Mater plushies that are kind of oversaturated and not worth a lot of money might suddenly be worth more money now. If Cars came out with a new movie, the popularity of those characters would go up, including Mater. I mentioned Mater because I like Mater. But uh, the Trolls movie just came out. Now it's not Disney, it's DreamWorks, but the Trolls dolls went up a little bit. So... Just keep an eye on what movies and shows are coming out because with that kind of popularity, the popularity of the plush always goes up and then you can raise prices. I do that. If I see a movie's coming out, I go into my own inventory and if I have plushies from that movie, I will raise the prices. When kids see movies, they want toys, right? And especially if it's like, let's use Olaf as a really good example. He has fluctuated so much since I've become a reseller. Olaf used to be worth a lot of money and then he wasn't worth anything and he was considered poop and then the second Frozen came out and he was worth money again. So just keep your eyes out for that. You can, Like I said, you can always use therapy and do your own research. I actually have a plush guide available that has tons of information in it on all kinds of different brands and characters. 
uh, what to be on the lookout for, what's poop, what's just bread and butter, sell-through rates, average sale prices. It's available down in the description box below, and it has been updated for 2024 because things do change, like I said, with movies coming out and shows coming out and just the popularity over time. Movies lose their popularity and the toys that go with the movies will lose their popularity. Some stay popular forever. Some vintage toys are still popular. So if you want all the information in one place, our guide's a good place to start. And other than that, you can use Terapeak to research or just find a ton of really cheap plush. Buy them all and learn from there. That's what I did. This is uh, Sam from a Halloween movie. Honestly, if I saw him in the wild, I'd pick him up. Probably tempted to keep him for myself. <laughs> I was tempted to keep little Sam here too. Um, but he is just a toy factory. So it's not like it's a Universal Studios or something. But he's still pretty cool. I like to pick up recognizable characters from movies. Honestly, I only listed this because it came in a lot. I don't know that this is anything I would get or recommend anyone to get. Is Justin Bieber still relevant? Is he popular? I don't know. I would think not, but let me know if you know. So these Starbucks barista bears, about four years ago, I got several of them in a wholesale lot. And the first few sold the year I got them very quickly for about 25 to 30 bucks. Some of the more popular ones, I guess maybe the golfer guy isn't that popular. He always comped lower. He has been sitting around. He's now on our 50% off sale before he finally sold. Um, you can see his original price was $16.24, which means I wanted around $13 for him on a sale. And some of the other ones sold for $30 a couple years ago when I first got them. So I think these Starbucks barista bears, while popular, just like anything else, it depends on which one you have. And there are a lot of them. We're going to look up a few together just to show you. Starbucks barista bear. Now, I haven't looked them up in a couple of years since I got mine. But here's this limited edition Mexico one for $35. There's a B one here for $20 all in with shipping. Here's one for $3 plus five shipping. So they're all over the place. Here's another golfer one like mine. And that probably explains why mine probably sold at 50% off because over time, his value has just gone down. But here we have an $18. I think that's mine, actually. Here's mine. So this barista bear is up for $11 plus $5.50 shipping. So you can see that just like with anything else, the barista bears are all over the place. We have a Hallmark Interactive Toy, St Toy Story. Hallmark Interactive Story Buddy. Now, I did sell two of these this month, and it's another example of how differing characters can sell for different prices. Abigail the Bunny, with no book, sold for $10, $10 and seven shipping. And then Cooper sold for $31.24. And he sold before he could go on sale. So if he was up for $31.24, that means on our 20% off sale that we run Monday through Friday, he would have been a $25 plush plus his shipping. So he sold fast enough that he wasn't even up for but a few hours, not even long enough to be grabbed by our sale. So he sold quicker and for a lot more money. So Cooper Bear way more popular and worth more money than Abigail the Bunny. But I would still say she's worth picking up because she didn't take that long to sell either. Here's uh, Nick Jr. Paw Patrol. So this shows you, you know, the Nick Jr. characters. They're popular. They do sell consistently. They have a good sell-through rate. But not all of them sell for a lot of money. And even Sky used to not be a saturated character. We have a Carter's Musical Lullaby Bunny. I love any plushies that are meant for babies. There's Carter's. There's the Baby Cap. There's just so many of them. And they'll usually either say baby or for baby in the, in the tag or be a brand that specifically is associated with babies. And they'll have cloth eyes. They don't have hard eyes. They don't have any hard parts. They're safe for babies. 
And you can use the word lovey in the title. This is poop. <laughs> I only listed it because it came in a wholesale lot. Let's be honest. Seeing what this Bush's baked beans dog, you'd think him being a Bush's dog with a mascot from a commercial, he'd be worth more. But I mean, he's really small, see? Again, I only listed this because it came in a, in a lot. And here's a good sloth. Spark Create Imagine, which is a Walmart brand. I like Walmart plush. The big jumbo plush, especially the holiday themed ones, can sell for a lot of money. They only come out one time and they will never come out again. So any plush you see for Valentine's Day this year, Easter at Walmart will not be the same ones you'll see next year. And they're usually very big. And being a jumbo plush, you can always charge a little bit more money, even if it's just Walmart for a day. Here's Disney Parks Tinkerbell. She probably would have been worth more, but she had writing all over her. Folks, don't write on your kids' plushies. Here's a Disney store, Bruni Salamander. Disney characters, again, like I said, are all over the place. Batman's poop. Batman, <laughs> I don't know why, but his plushies are never worth a lot of money. And then last but not least, we have this generic poop. That I only listed because it came in a box. So those are the plush that sold in the month of March on eBay. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, let me know down below. Go be productive. Go make some money. And as always, thank you so, so much for watching. Y'all are the best. Bye.